Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're gonna try something new. Okay, I just got this game. It's called Dark Data. It's supposed to be just like Perfect Dark. And uh, Perfect Dark is awesome. So you know what? Let's fucking log in. I hit play by accident. That's why you see that there, but I've never actually played this before. So this is literally my first time, first experience. So let's go. The hell is that thing? Picks up. Uh, oh, it's just the intro. Ah ha ha. I like that. Very nice. Enlightened Realm Audio. Oh, yeah. Detroit 2025, right on. Oh, the music, the vibe, very perfect dark. Give you the blockchain action. Mr. X. Are the ultimate luxury. It's true. If you think about it, secrets are the some ultimate luxury. Can no longer afford. Mm, very interesting. What the hell? Xy. This is not. You got Mr. X and Xy. Cat five. Hey. Cat five. Interesting. Ooh, I like these vibes. You know, it reminds me of um, a mix between, and we got Poison. <laughs> They're setting me up. Reminds me of a mix between Perfect Dark and Reboot. If any of you all seen Reboot, the 90 CGI show. I remember it being good. I don't know if I'd watch it now and be good, but very cool animation for the time. So check it out. All right, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click. Dark data. Press start multiplayer. Oh. Well, I guess so. There's no single player. Interesting. I did not know that. Character creator. Let's make a character. I will call him. We've got Mr. X, right? We'll do a. Uh, Rocket Nickerson, right? Let's commit. Let's commit to something. Did that just not save? Oh no, it did. I guess it's still there. Okay. Fees. Oh, okay. Oh, these are weird looking. It looks like just people's like. Family photos, just like stretched around a, a non-realistic shape. I'm not hating. I'm sure it's low budget. It only costs five bucks. This guy's a sketchy mother. Look at this guy. Which block face do I choose? Hmm. Interesting. I don't even know. Oh, type Y. Yo, okay, okay, come on. I gotta do that. Body type. Oh, we're gonna go. Let's see. Long sleeve stout. Shirt sleeve. Shirt sleeve stout. Duster. Duster's kinda cool. Long sleeve. Long sleeve stout. Shirt sleeve. Okay, so we're, uh. We'll go Duster. Top clothing. Duster tattered. We got Duster brown. <laughs> Duster brown. Duster green. Duster red. Lab coat. Duster stitched. I'm gonna stick with the duster stitched. Bottom clothing leather. Western suit. Green camo, light blue camo. <laughs> body armor. Oh yeah, let's go body armor. Oh, ch oh, chiller. Ooh, that's pretty cool though too. Ooh, chiller's dope. Since it doesn't make a difference, I might do chiller. Historical accuracy, man. What the hell? This tech. Yeah. Trippy. Zero pants. Oh, that, we'll go out. What's zero pants? What's the other one? Chiller. 
Uh, chill at least, though. Okay. Head option. Whoa, it's like a reptile dreads. I think I just gotta do that instantly. Whoa, we got the ski mask? Oh, cool. We got an afro. Got the ponytail. Spiky hair. Boofin black. Boofin brown. Boofin light brown. Boofin blonde. <laughs> Boofin red. Boofin pink. Russian hat. Mother Russia. Look, you don't mess with me, you mess with Mother Russia. Mother Russia. Hijab black. Probably can't make jokes about that. I will be canceled. Hijab red. Hijab tan. Cowboy hat. Yeehaw! Pixel foot mascot. That's really disturbing. You stop moving, dude? Jeez. He's like looking into my soul. What the hell? Sci-fi helmet. Uh, it's like 70s sci-fi helmet, but that's okay. Long hair. Baseball blue cap, green cap, don't care about no baseball caps. Sci-fi helmets, I'm not gonna pick that. Cyberpunk. All right, I think I guess we, I'm gonna look, but augmented visor, ooh. Now nah, we're going, come on, cyberpunk, we gotta do it. That's my DJ name, so let's go. Okay, forgery visor, bionic eye, bionic eye. Ooh. Lennon glasses. Got regular sunglasses. Put the straight up eye patch. I gotta go forge revisor, of course. Face shot into too. Beard. That's a weird beard. It's just like it looks like a donut on his face. <laughs> Cigar. Cigar with a donut. <laughs> Cigar donut. <laughs> it's like the muffin man. Basher vape pen. Hockey ski mask over the visor. I do like the ski mask, but can't put that shit over the visor. What is that? Marauder's helm. Yo. Let's go. Whoa, yo. And the helmet. Uh, spikes go through. And then a black. Uh, that's what I've been wearing lately. Got like crap going on. All right. Oh, that's pretty sick as hell. But I got a visor, so. I don't know. That was dope, too. Ooh. I'll do a cigar. No smoking. Smoking's bad for you, kids. Hook hand. Parks and glove. Shoulder armor. Double armor. Oh, yeah. What's a full armor? Yeah, I'll do that. But, or the, you just don't give his right right knee? <laughs> Anything? Brace it. No. I'll go full armor. Go save. Put your character to Twitter? No! Fuck Twitter. Twitter sucks. So, I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't know it was only multiplayer. Um, can I play with bots, maybe? There's one. Oh, death mad. Capture the floppy. <laughs> Capture the floppy. Hold your, hold your death. I don't think you can. It looks like it's straight. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, cool, cool. We got some bots. All right, all right. This video isn't pointless after all. Now let's go with some paranoid bots. <laughs> Weapon set, assassin, ultra, all American, cyber freak, demolition, techno savage, full auto X. I'm really liking the vocabulary they have in this game. It's really, um, it's really fulfilling me in a in a weird way. Baby boomer, shotguns only, pistols only, now nah, rockets only. No, no only. So let's do a set. Zero's choice. Overkill. We got all American. Cyber freak. We gotta do that. Come on, let's go. Time limit. Um, what do we want to do this? 10 minutes? I'll do 10 minutes. Let's go to win. 30 seconds, one minute. Um, oh, hold your death. What is this, a time thing? Oh, is it like a... So I guess I'll do two minutes. I think it's like an oddball, maybe. Special items, shields, gems, none. Um, shields and stems, yeah, let's do it all. Mini map on? Yeah, mini map on. Still getting used to the game. Level select. All right, we got the mall. I get it. It's like a mall, but they spell it like you're going to get mauled. Very cool. Suits Casino. Very cool. It's St. Clair below. Underground Rave. Oh, man, this game was made for me. Underground Rave. That's so, that's, I have to pick it, but we're going to go through them all first. Funland Forest. 
The Office, Marauder Volant, St. Clair Surface, Detroit Streets, Zeus Arcade, might do that one after, Metro, oh that's dope, The Mall, alright where we got, Underground Rave, let's fucking go XE, oh okay okay, thought it was showing me something, alright, X I can play as XE Poison Zero Day, didn't I just make a custom character, I can't play as my custom character, or maybe, oh no okay okay yeah it'll come up, maybe, right. it looks like Dwight, <laughs> Michael! Bebop Gangster. Oh, dude, they got some cor Corruptor Punk. Damn, they got some tributes. That was like a Cowboy Bebop reference. Falling Thief, Techno Savage. Oh, man. Executable Hunter, Anon. Anon. Yo, these are really cool characters. And then we got your boy, Nickerson, on board with this shit. Let's go. Yeah. Hold your death at the Underground Rave. Beyond Sush. Sush. What? Oh. Universal. Oh, yeah. I'm slow. Ooh, I like this vibe. Uh, I gotta invert the controller. Invert. Look, there we go. That's easy. So far, uh, the controls feel pretty cool. I gotta get a weapon somehow. Okay, so it is like perfect deck where you don't start with a weapon. I'm trying all the buttons here. What's this thing? A mine? There we go. Oh, what is that thing? Did that now you detonate it? Is there a detonate button? What are we doing here? Is that a, oh, is that a proximity? I fucking hope not. Alright. Alright, now we get a weapon. Here we go. Oh, ooh, that's a cool zoom. Okay. I gotta slow the sensitivity down a little bit wild from the start. Oh, this feels sick, dude. I like this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to slow down the sensitivity real quick. Uh, okay, so when you pause it, it only pauses for you, apparently. Um, how do I get the fucking... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't need a wild sensitivity. Oh yeah, this is dope. The only thing that scrapes my gears, I heard the uh, oh whoa 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 whoa. I heard that uh, the multiplayer in this, which I didn't realize it was only multiplayer, but I, I I heard the multiplayer in this is only local, which is super lame. Um, sorry if any of the devs are watching this, but I, I get, like, I, I was probably a budget thing, I get it, but, you know, like, if this game's online, like, yeah, would it have a ton of people playing? No. Probably not. Not because it's bad. Just because it's, you know, it's a game, you know, they didn't, you know, I, I hadn't heard of it. I don't even remember how I heard of it. But, you know, no massive marketing campaign, so I'm not talking shit about it by any means. Plays really cool. I'm really liking it, just from the little bit I've played right now. Feels good. Weapons feel good, controls feel good. I like the aesthetic. Both weapons I had, kind of different. Different bullet spread, different color. I'm liking it. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I just, I wish they'd have it online. It's one of the, what is it, floppy? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, I like that. It goes into like a matrix code. Very cool. Where am I? What the hell? Get me out of here! Alright, here we go. Smoke this fool. Oh, get out of here. Ooh, that's distracting. You get shot, your whole shit lights up red. This is the rave. Underground rave, I love it. I love it. I know these guys are like mad cool who made this like Anyone who makes a map in the game called underground rave is is gonna be a cool cool ass team All right, come on, let's go. Where's my where's that disc? All right, I gotta start paying attention to this. Oh, I got sniper 
Ooh, yeah, get wrecked. Oh, shit. How does this work? I stick him? I think I stuck that guy. And what do you do, uh... I don't know how to set it off. Did you shoot him? I mean, that worked. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but... Why are you shooting me? Shoot the guy with the disc! Hold your death! I have to like turn all the way around. Give me that disc! Give me my baby back! Oh damn, I get that disc and I'm done. Paranoid Paranoid bots are uh something else. I don't like that. It spawns you like faces you like the opposite way. Please face me outside, bro. Damn dude. Get wrecked. Alright, I got it. I got the disc now. But damn dude. That goes quick, man. It goes really quick. Really quick. Alright. Where did you motherfuckers at? Like they forgot about Dre. I'm pretty sure I died from a lot less shots than that. Oh, okay. We got the vents like the perfect duck. What is this? What do, what do I have here? Hold on, let me use my sh let me use my futuristic thingy. Oh, How do I get out of crouch, dude? How do I fucking get out of crouch? Oh, okay. Apparently, it happened. I get it now. I was just spamming a bunch of buttons. Oh yeah, okay. It is the right thumbstick. It is the right thumbstick. Headshot. Oh shit. Headshot indicator. Is this the guy? Is this is this the fucking guy? I might have put too many bots in this. <laughs> I don't know. I've never played before. That I cannot be sure about. Come on, my motherfucker. Dude, there's so many people, and I did what? Two minutes. You have to hold that shit for two minutes? Oh my god. Impossible! Give me the damn thing. I got like this weapon. 154 is on the clock. Does that mean is it the lead score? I don't know. I didn't really specify. Die! Die, vermin scum! What the fuck? Holy shit! A lot of people in here. How many bots did I put on here? Oh, switch, go. Come on, come on, mother. Oh shit, dude. He wasn't even trying to shoot me. Shooting the alien bot. Enemy bot, I meant. Yeah, enemy bot. Wonder if this has a disarm like Perfect Dark when you're not uh, armed. That would be cool. Oh, does that, is this secondary fire? Oh, that's super important to me. Ooh, I was sniped by a bot. That's okay. Get me out of here, this fucking thing. 
I need the damn disc. Give me the damn disc. Give me that damn dog. Yeah, I'll be doing a lot of office quotes. They're just kind of a reflex at this point. Oh shit. Damn. Damn. Ha 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 ha. I will punch you in your stupid face. I got the disc. This is the disc, right? Oh, hell yeah. Alright, let's run with this motherfucker. Okay. I'm gonna stay here, right? Stay out of harm's way. No! Oh, hell yeah. I'm getting some real time here. Oh, I get it. Okay, so my time is up there. Nope. No, you don't. Oh, no, you didn't. I was just about to be like, yo, I'm doing all right. What if I'm right here? Can they not shoot me? Shoot each other. Oh, you can jump. Oh, awesome. You can jump. Ha ha. I have gotten away. Oh, yeah, shoot each other. Yeah, get that guy. Yeah, no, no, he said something about your mama, man. You don't let him live out of that shit. Let me go in this awful spawn they gave me. Bot 6 res reign supreme. Wait, how? Oh, the timeline? Was it ten? Was that 10 minutes? Oh, my God, it was 10 minutes. Didn't feel like it. Which, overall, I'd say is a good thing. Interesting uh, end game screen. Demonstrator laser. It's very cool. I love the names. Very cool. Love the aesthetic. Love the design. Bot 6 Reign Supreme. Data, bro. Most crouches. <laughs> Most crouch. Oh, I love this. I fucking love this. This is like Perfect Dark. They used to add in all these like little things that don't matter but are kind of interesting. Like the most crouches. Who crouched the most? Like that doesn't fucking matter. But that's cool. Like <laughs> most deaths. Most item pickups, least kills, most headshots, most jumps. Okay, most jumps, which is cool because you couldn't jump in GoldenEye and Perfect Dark. I don't remember if you remember that. You probably don't because you're so accustomed to jumping now. But yeah, you can't jump in the old school games. I'm glad they had a jump. I really, it, I say this in a lot of my shooter videos. I love maneuverability. It is super important to me. So the more maneuverability, the better. So whoever made Dark Data... I appreciate that you added in the jump, okay? Probably should have done my research and then, you know, talked about the developer like I knew a lot about this game. But you know what? I'm not a fake-ass motherfucker. So, I don't know who made it. But it's pretty cool so far. I'm digging it. Thanks for the jump. Nice accuracy. Very cool, man. I love the vibe. What should we do? We're going to uh, match options. Because we're going to do another one. That's right. Dark Data. Okay, I have to say, I am having so much fun with this game. The maps are super cool. As you see here, the mall. Very cool map. Good vibes. It's like a vaporwave slash perfect dark style. I mean, it overall is basically a perfect dark clone, and I don't mean that in a negative way. They obviously meant it to be that. Um, the weapon selection is super cool. They're all unique. Aim down sights are a little bit different for every gun, which is very cool. I happen to love the individual game types. They have Occupation, which is basically King of the Hill. That plays very well. I think something important to note here is that the controls are very smooth. It's a very smooth feeling shooter. Comparable, again, to Perfect Dark, GoldenEye, that era of gaming. And there's a lot of things I like in the game that remind me of, you know, back in the day. So overall, I absolutely love it. For $5, you cannot go wrong with this game. I gotta hand it to him. This is a very, very fun game. I believe I did hear something about them doing some solo mission slash campaign type of thing. I'll have to get back to you on that, but I, uh, I'm pretty sure I heard that. 
Oh man, let me tell you, this brings back the vibes. The vibes are, you know, pre-internet. You're you're in your room with your friends. You get your friends over. You're playing four-player co-op, four-player multiplayer, competitive. Oh man, this game really does it. And as some of you may know, I actually am, I would say, primarily a first-person shooter type of person, even though I'm very selective with what I play. But I'll tell you, man, just capturing gameplay for this game, I was like, wow. I just, I kept playing. I, you know, I didn't want to stop. It's very addictive. Very unique. And overall, just a satisfying game. I think it's important that they did have really good objective game types. Like I said, they got the occupation, team deathmatch, hold the floppy, capture your death, I think it was called. It's awesome. It's just like a, a casual fun shooter, arena style, cool, unique weapons. These aren't, you know, some weapons are realistic, some aren't. Very similar to Perfect Dark. I do have a couple gripes with it. No huge issue, but just a couple things I didn't like about it that I want to talk about. One is that uh, when you kill someone, the little kill count is in the top left. So for a while, I, I couldn't even tell that I was killing people because it was in the top left. And I don't I can't think of any shooters that, that throw it in the top left after you kill someone. So I really wasn't sure if I was getting the kills. And then I was like, oh, I was like, I must be missing it. And then I realized in the very top left, it kind of blends in. I wish it was a little bit. A little bit closer to the middle of the bottom of the screen, you know, like a lot of other shooters. Just, just preference, you know. Something I didn't like about it. I think they could make that a little bit better. Another gripe I had, again, this isn't a big deal. It's just something I think that could have been cool, you know, especially going back to the perfect dark vibe, is the weapons do not have secondary fire. And that was a big thing for me in perfect dark, was all the weapons that you could play as, or, you know, except for maybe like one, I think, or two, like a few. I think the golden eye weapons didn't have a secondary fire naturally. But almost all the perfect dark weapons had secondary fire and it added a whole nother intense layer of gameplay that I, you know, I really enjoyed. And I think if they added in a secondary fire and, you know, put the kill counter a little bit further down on the screen so people can, you know, like like all the other shooters are, or in the center, you know, like anywhere. But at the top left, I, you know, I didn't really see it. I, I know where it is now. It's not a big deal. I just think for newer players, it's a little bit more encouraging when you see it, you know, where your field of vision is. When you, know, get, you get that reward, like you just killed. I do like how they added in. I'm not, oh, so off of that, I do like how they added in the multi-kill. Double kill, triple kill, that, you know? That's nice. That wasn't in Perfect Dark and Goldeneye. It came a little bit later for console shooters. But yeah, I do like the satisfaction of having the multi-kills, the little skulls. That was nice. Nice touch. Overall, I have to say, this game is tons of fun. And I don't know any other game that I could buy, especially like a first-person shooter that's futuristic and unique for $5. Uh... I don't think it exists. I think this is the one. <laughs> I think this is the one. You must buy Dark Fate. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this game is so much fun. I highly recommend it. I do think one more gripe, my final gripe of the night, is they need to get this shit online. I realize it probably costs a decent amount of money for servers, whatever. I don't know how that crap works. But... If they got this online, would it have a huge player fan base? No. But what it would have is a super hardcore fan base that would probably play it all the time. And it would be this little first person, futuristic first person shooter niche of the internet where there would probably only be realistically 10 to 100 people that played it at all online. But you know what? That would be an awesome community. So I really think that you guys should think about that because it's a little hideaway to me. This is a futuristic shooter. You know, I didn't. I heard about this. I do remember now. I said earlier in the video that I didn't remember where I found it from, but I remember now. I found it, someone posted it in a Perfect Dark group on Facebook. So I hadn't heard of it before. And that's disappointing because it's so much fun. But I'm glad I heard about it. That's why I'm doing a video on it. I think a lot of people should grab this and play it. 
I think I, I'm gonna end up playing with a couple of my friends, hooking hooking up some Xbox controllers to the PC and playing the multiplayer on the system because that's what it's made for. But I do think they should add in the online. But again, overall, this game is very nice. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Even playing against bots, it's really fun. I don't like playing against bots normally, but the bots seem pretty intuitive, you know, all things considered. So yeah, Dark Data, it's on Steam, it's five bucks. Check it out. Do you know any other games like this? I'm dying to know. Do you have any? Comment in the description. Do you have any other games like this? Please leave a comment and let me know. If you know any obscure shooters that are futuristic and, and, and like this, I don't even care about the price. Ideally, you know, cheap is great. But if you have any other shooters like this, seriously, I, I want to know. If you guys comment them, I, I'll buy them. I'll do a video on them. I'm, I'm looking for shooters like this. This is right up my alley. The only problem, the main problem I have with it is the fact that it's not online. But you know what? It's still fun. I can still have people over and play it. And you know, it encourages that old school vibe. Like, oh, you want to play this? Now you got to come over to play it like back in the day. So, you know, which is pretty cool. You know, you get that old school vibe. So I understand where they're coming from with that. But yeah, leave it in the comments if you have anything like this or if you're going to check it out. I want to know what you think. If you're a shooter, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I just wanted to thank you all for watching. If you get the game, again, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one. Thanks again.